I tell you what's been on my mind? Sick and tired of the nine to five in the city light. Hey, darling, we could get out of town. See the beautiful world around, wanna see it now. Pack our bags and get in that car. Leave a little note and we'll drive real far. Let's get out, we can leave this city. Let's drive to the open air. Yeah, the countryside is so pretty. Welcome back to our channel and welcome back to who knows when of vlogmas if you're new here my name is Britt and this is Jared and we have a two-year-old named Shepard so vlogmas is something we've done before and we loved it but it was definitely very time-consuming and stressful so we wanted to try it again this year but just without the like pressure of having to do yes, it every single day we wanted to do it and be able to commit to like a few more videos than we typically upload we usually upload about once a week so maybe like two to three times a week instead of just one so that's what we're doing. That's our version of Vlogmas. Vlogmas-ish. We have done Vlogmas before. So if you want the full 25 days, <laughs> it's we have a playlist. I think it was 2019. Today didn't do much. We just gotten back from Dallas. We are trying to like, you know, when you come back in from it's out of town. It's that catch-up game of life. And it's just like you have to reset, especially with having a little yeah. one. We actually filmed quite a bit in Dallas, but not enough to make <laughs> its own vlog. So I did want to show you all that. I spent this morning editing that part. So I'll throw it in right after this. But basically all we did was we drove to Dallas and we stopped in at my favorite place to stop in in all of Dallas and it's the half, the, <laughs> the half price books that is by North Park Mall and that's my favorite one it's just so good it's so big we ran there and just grabbed a couple of things I looked at Bibles a lot because one of my friends has just told me that she never actually had access and she never had a Bible her whole life so I'm hoping to make that my mission this <laughs> Christmas to buy her her first Bible but I actually didn't find one that I felt like was just like right. Shepherd played they have this really cool like play area we went to Jared's cousin's house and then we went and walked around their neighborhood and looked at Christmas lights. So we got up the next morning and we went to the Gaylord Texan which is this beautiful hotel it's slash like convention center in Grapevine, Texas. We did take Shepard to ICE. If you don't know what ICE is, they actually have one in Orlando. They've got a couple of other ones, but we went to one in Dallas. Basically, it's where there's this huge like room where it's nine degrees. Everybody has to put on a parka. I didn't believe her and, about that, but it was definitely true. And it's true. full of like <laughs> ice sculptures, which is so, so cool. Hey. Yeah, baby. <laughs> So after we did that, we went and looked at more Christmas lights that night. And oh, you forgot the other part. So we started our morning off there with actually a character breakfast, which of course we're accustomed to with Disney. Yeah, yeah. But this was a little bit different because it was characters at a hotel. Quite as good. And the characters were Charlie Brown. So we saw Charlie Brown, we saw Lucy, we saw Snoopy. Yeah, Shepard was not a fan of uh, any of them. So uh, yeah. after that, <laughs> we took Shepard to ICE. So that was pretty much it for that trip, but I wanted to throw in the clips of that in here so that you could check them out. And in the meantime, I'm just going to work on cleaning this super messy kitchen. Oh gosh, see, there's so much stuff. I'm literally tripping everything from the floor. But this is what our trips look like in Dallas.
Okay, y'all, we wanted to take a second in the video to tell you about Haya Vitamins. We actually had these in our cart. We so were ready crazy. to check out. <laughs> it was during one of the sales and we forgot. And we checked our email and the company had actually reached out to us to send us vitamins. I was so excited because it was something that I genuinely wanted to purchase for my son. So we wanted to tell you about Haya Vitamins. So to me, these are cool because me as a pharmacist, like this was something that was kind of right up my alley. You actually stop and look at like the ingredients on a lot of children's vitamins, especially gummies. It's almost like looking at a jar full of candy. They'll throw in some minerals and stuff, but yeah. like all the inactive ingredients, it's basically just like eating candy and they send you this little card and on here they said this company was founded by two new dads who uh, were just like the rest of us yeah. shocked when they found out that children's vitamins were basically candy in disguise when i read that i went and looked on the back of shepherd's <laughs> gummy vitamins yeah. that came from a health food store and they matched because i went and got his gummy candy out of the like that you know like gummies that they eat they were the same thing. <laughs> Jared and I have two completely different mouths and I am prone to cavities and Jared is not. So just anything we can yeah. do to keep Shepard from getting cavities to just like help his health of his mouth and his teeth, just his overall health, we're gonna opt for it. We're so excited that Haya has zero sugar made from all organic fruits and vegetables. Everything is naturally derived. It has three different flavors and they're like little bitty sweet tarts. And it's also has a blend of 12 vegetables and fruits together, which is awesome. The very first ingredient in the gummies is sugar. <laughs> the very first ingredient in these is monk fruit extract and every Everything else in these vitamins you can say, you yeah. can pronounce, you can look up and see a visual of what it is. Unlike the stuff, the yucky stuff that are in other vitamins that you have no idea what's in them and what you're giving your baby. Bottom line with these is they're made in America. They are all natural. They have no sugar. They have no artificial colors, no artificial sweeteners, no artificial ingredients whatsoever. And Shepard loves them so much. <laughs> Every day he walks up to the cabinet and he wants one. And then if he gets one for me, then he finds his dad. And he's like, dad. <laughs> and he tries to get a second one from his dad. But these are only one a day vitamins. And one of the really cool things is, is they come in this glass jar. They come with really cute stickers and you can decorate your bottle. So we wrote Shepard's name on his and they have like hats and there's a shoe and a smiley face. There's a rainbow. Anyways, they have all these really cute stickers so that if you've got more than one kid or just one kid and you want to personalize their jar, you can. The packaging is good quality. The vitamin is good quality. And it's not often that your kid loves something good for them. Thank you so much to Haya for saying yes to these vitamins. Shepard loves them. And we're so excited that we have found this vitamin and we will continue to use it. Okay, tomorrow Jared has signed me up <laughs> to make enchilada soup for his work. So I am about to make this soup and Jared said it's the best enchilada soup he's ever had. So I will put the recipe in the comments, but I'm about to get started making that and it's just gonna sit in the crock pot overnight. Basically, all you need is chicken tenderloins or chicken breast. Last time I made it, I put three chicken breasts in the bottom. This time I've got frozen chicken strips, so I'm going to use those instead. You need red enchilada sauce, chicken broth, onion powder, garlic powder, cumin, diced tomatoes. You need the fire roasted ones or the ones that are best for this. You need corn, chili powder, onion, and like four cloves of garlic. the next day. I left off showing you that I was making the soup. Saute the onions and the garlic. Definitely recommend that. It makes a difference in the flavor. So do that first. But then the rest you just dump into the crock pot. So I had to let it cook and then let it cook long enough to take the chicken out to shred. And then the only other thing that I didn't show you is I add a packet of the enchilada sauce like powder. Like the 
in the packet. And then I add a block of cream cheese, maybe like 30 minutes to an hour before you serve it, just enough to melt it. It was ready this morning and I shredded the chicken in it last night, put it back and then put the cream cheese in it this morning and sent it on its way. And Jared said, everybody loved it. I don't know, I don't really follow a recipe. I just kind of like, Put some stuff in it and it turns out okay so today there was no no filming at all but so i woke up this morning i did the dishes and just hung out with shepherd for a little while and then when i put him down for his nap i went upstairs and i called to renew our dvc annual passes tomorrow is annual pass price raising day and so apparently everybody in the world <laughs> was calling to renew their passes before the price went up including me when i tell you 10 out of 10 don't recommend I mean, a hundred out of 10 do not recommend because I've been on hold for five hours trying to renew my annual pass. And actually it wasn't even mine because we renewed Jared's. We renewed Jared's today and mine a couple days ago because we didn't know if we really wanted to renew his for this next year or not, if we just wanted to renew mine. We decided that since Shepard is still free in the parks, we would go ahead and renew his for one more year and then just kind of go from there next year. Anyways, five hours later, Jared's pass is renewed. My pass is renewed. We're good to go for 2023. We will see you at Disney. Man, oh my goodness. I feel like I'm just like on a down, downward slope, like coming off of that five hour on hold, like not elevator music, but just like Disney hold mu music. Like I've just been listening to Disney hold music for five hours. So I'm so glad, sorry for that rant and that, <laughs> but I'm just so happy to be off of the phone. Everything's done. I'm booking dining reservations right now. We are going to Disney the end of January, beginning of February. It's just opened up our dining window. So I'm trying to get some dining reservations booked. If you've got any recommendations, if you love Disney and you go quite often, let me know what some of your favorite restaurants are to eat at. We are actually bringing my mom this time. So you've seen Lolly come before with us. If you've been following our channel for a long time, you know I have two mamas. Um, so Lolly comes all the time, but Honey is coming with us this time. So my other mom. And we're really, really excited that we are getting to bring her. She's never been to Disney before like these days. So she's went to Disney one time uh, almost 30 years ago when I was a kid and I didn't even go. She went for a conference or something. It's just like, if you haven't been in the last 10 years, you really kind of haven't been to Disney. It's so different now. We're so excited that she's coming. You'll get to see a whole nother version of Disney because Honey will be there instead of Lolly. I'm gonna wrap this vlog up here. I have done lots of chit chat. I am going to go probably take a bath and just relax and probably go to bed early. My head hurts from being off on that long. Sorry, there's lots of chit chat at the end, but anyways. I love y'all. Thank y'all so much for watching. We hope you enjoyed this vlog. If you did, give it a thumbs up so we know. And be sure to subscribe if you're not already. We would be so happy to have you here. Typically Disney vlog, but every now and then we throw in these random home vlogs. We love you and we hope you have a great day. See you in our next one. Bye.